Fox News alert. The State Department has released now online 296 of Hillary Clinton's emails from time when she was Secretary of State. The emails were previously provided to a select committee on Benghazi in February. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen is live now with first impressions and first facts. James. Harrison, my other friends, good afternoon from the State Department. What you have here is hundreds of reporters uh, all assaulting these documents uh, online on the State Department's FOIA page at the same time, and each of us is finding different things in these early minutes of familiarity with these documents. The Associated Press is reporting that these emails show that then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton did indeed receive classified information about Benghazi on her private email server. We all will recall, of course, that Secretary Clinton and has maintained she never trafficked in any kind of classified information about any subject in all of the emails she sent and received on that private server. That from the Associated Press. My own early dig through these documents also finds one other very interesting and perhaps important nugget. In the fall of 2012, emails were exchanged between Secretary of State Clinton's then Chief of Staff, Cheryl Mills, and the head of the National Counterterrorism Center, Matthew Olson. Matt Olson has up till now in the Benghazi affair emerged as one of the few heroes, if you will, because it was back on September 19, 2012, just one week uh, after the attacks uh, on the Benghazi consulate and the CIA annex, he became the first U.S. government official to declare that Benghazi was, in fact, a terrorist attack. He did that in sworn open testimony before the United States Senate. Then, two months later, these emails now show Olson was communicating privately with Hillary Clinton's chief of staff and telling her, quote, that we are continuing to fend off questions about the unclassified talking points. He also told Mills that he thought congressional hearings that were happening on Benghazi at that time were, quote, going fine. So it shows some very interesting communication, almost collusion, if you will, between one of the most senior intelligence officials in the country and Hillary Clinton's direct staff at the State Department. Back to you guys in New York. All right. You have more reading to do. We appreciate you breaking this down for us. Keep reading. We'll come back to you as the news warrants. James Rosen, thank you very much. Let's bring it